Hey, what's up, you guys? I know this is a great day 365 in a row. Not really. I like. I literally texted everybody to see if they had um, plans so that I could have a fun day 365. But clearly that didn't happen. <laughs> Lindsay and I are hanging out tomorrow for a little while. So this will be fun day 366. Pretty anticlimactic day. day. Literally nothing exciting happened. I worked all day, which was better than I anticipated. Um, I learned from Lindsay how to make my phone's battery last longer than it was because it's almost dead. And she told me don't charge it overnight because charging it overnight actually makes it overcharge and it makes it die faster. <clears throat> so she said what you do is you drain the battery into like 2%, charge it, and then take it off the charger like five after like five minutes of it being at a hundred percent, take it off, and then it like ah uh, keeps the battery like charged, not overexerted and <clears throat> overcharge. So there's that. So I've been using it like a mad person, playing games and stuff on it, purposely waiting for it to drain so that I could start charging right now, which means I have to stay up for the next hour to make sure that it doesn't overcharge. Maybe that was a bad idea on my part. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not. I don't have any, like anything special planned for day 365. I don't have like a party or like a celebration because my celebration is me going to California next week, and that's all I need for celebrating. <laughs> that's all I need in my life. Now, um, I don't think anybody really understands how big of a deal this is, the fact I'm going to California, because I have wanted to go to California since I was literally, like, six years old, and I wasn't sure what it is I want to do for a living, and I'm still not really sure at all what I want to do, but I know I want to entertain, because I like doing that kind of stuff, um, but it was just funny, because when I was younger, I'd be like, okay, I want to be, like, an astronaut, because I love science, and then I'd be like, Okay, no, maybe I don't want to be an astronaut because that involves too much schooling and, you know, technique and, like, you know, too, too much smart and brains and that's something I don't have. Um, so then I was like, what about a vet? I, I like animals. And then I realized that means I'd have to, like, put down animals and, and like, sad stuff like that and I'd have to see them get sick and I was like, yeah, no, never mind. So I was like, what about an animal rescuer? And, um, I'd, like, go into, like, houses where the animals were abandoned and take them and, like, um kind of rehabilitate them and then get them new homes and uh, I realized that that would also not be good because I'd get attached to them and try to keep them exhibiting these cats right here um, so I decided on um, an actor because if you're an actor that means that you can play whatever it is that you want to play um, I, if I want to be an astronaut in a show I'd be an astronaut in a show if I want to be a vet in a show I'd be a vet in a show like that kind of thing because I was never really sure what I want to do um, and then uh, the day came where um, I actually really got to experience acting, as I put it. And I've talked about it before, but a few years ago when I was making videos with my sister and her friends, um, I thoroughly enjoyed myself when they'd make me dress up and do stupid stuff, and I loved it. I thought it was so funny. Um, and then my love of writing actually came because... Uh, I was getting a little old to be outside playing with sticks, pretending that there were swords. So I figured I'd use my creativity and put it into writing. And uh, that came about when I was in like fourth grade, maybe. Yeah, I think it was like uh, third grade, fourth grade. And um, uh, so I focused on that. And then a few years ago, probably in like ninth grade, um, I started writing scripts because I thought it'd be kind of cool. And I was originally intending on writing comedy scripts. Uh, comedy did not work out for me as it ended up turning into more of a drama, weird conspiracy kind of show. And I ended up really enjoying that. Uh, so that's what I kind of wanted to do, producing and acting and writing and directing. And that's kind of cool. And, um, and then I started watching YouTube more and I started seeing like the huge impact and effect that it had. And um, then I met Charles Trippy, and we and um, I met him, and he was so awesome. And the fact that he like 
um, you saw every single day for the past like six years of his life, you got to see everything that he did because it was something that he wanted to do. And um, so that's what led me to do this because I thought it would be awesome to look back at my life and see where I've been and kind of where I am now. I can look back like two, uh, I can look back last year and make, oh my God. But I was like, oh my god, so I want to do that. Um, and it, it's awesome. So, you know, the fact that I made it a year is just amazing, and I'm obsessed with the fact that I did that, because a lot of people, when I first started, didn't think I could make it five days or ten days, let alone the whole year. So I'm just so excited, and I hope that um, you guys enjoy what what I do. Um I know I don't even enjoy these kinds of vlogs, and I wish I was doing something way better than this uh, for the, my year. But, but um, so I'm gonna do like a compilation of, I, of uh, my favorite moments, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. But with that, I'm gonna go. So make sure you guys subscribe. See you next week. Bye.